Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about dress shoe outsoles. We're going to talk about leather soles, rubber soles, and everything in between, pros and cons. And we're going to go from all the way super dressy to about as casual as you'd want to go for a shoe that you would actually want to be dressing up and make sure that sole looks nice and sleek. So starting off with the dressiest option on a pair of Allen Edmonds strands in the walnut color. Awesome shoe, everyone knows. This shoe was very popular a while ago. This one has a single leather outsole. It has a rubber heel, and you can see I have worn this quite a bit. They always get pretty scuffed up right there. Nice and worn in, nice and broken in, single leather outsole. For this video, we're going to refer to this one as just a leather sole. So this is going to be the dressiest option. It's the most sleek, it's the most minimal, it's the thinnest. And if you're looking to wear a shoe with a nice business suit, then this is the sole you should really pick. As far as comfort, it is decently comfortable. Leather soles don't have a lot of shock absorption. I personally find that you don't need a lot of shock absorption because I find the leather soles actually mold to your feet really nice. And as you wear them, more and more and more they do get more comfortable if you've been wearing sneakers your whole life if you've been wearing comfortable cushion crazy cushion shoes this is probably not going to be as comfortable your feet are going to have to get used to wearing something like this with a leather sole before you could just put this on and walk 10 miles there have been times where my feet do bother me wearing these shoes with this with a regular leather sole because i don't wear them as much but if i wear them a lot more then they do get pretty comfortable so the comfort's decent don't listen to people that say dress shoes are uncomfortable. They don't have to be uncomfortable. If they're uncomfortable, you get the wrong size or you're just walking way too far and your, your feet need to get used to wearing a shoe like this or they need to be broken in properly. I don't have any type of insoles. I don't put any insoles in any of my shoes. This is just what you see is what you get. It's sized properly and overall it's pretty decent as far as comfort goes. So from a formality standpoint, this is going to be the most versatile just because you're going to be able to wear this with a suit and this particular color you could even wear it with a pair of jeans if you so choose I know a lot of people do this and I'm trying to trying to hide hide behind the shoes so that way the camera doesn't focus on me and a lot of people do wear these with a nice pair of dark wash jeans and it does look pretty well you can dress these shoes down pretty decently but you wear them all the way up to a nice formal suit cons some people like i mentioned they will find that the leather sole is not comfortable those of you that are wearing super comfortable shoes maybe you're wearing shoes like the adidas ultra boost maybe you're wearing shoes like i don't know i don't really know sneakers too well but if your feet are very used to that super comfy cushioned sole then these may not be the most comfortable for you also if any of you out there are having any foot issues, any feet health issues, any sort of like, you know, if you have any heel spurs, anything like that, then you definitely should be aware of that and definitely check with your doctor before getting a pair of getting a pair of shoes like this and actually expecting to not have any issues at all. Another con too is, and this is something that I've experienced recently, these can get very slippery on certain surfaces. Now on concrete, on sidewalks, they're totally fine once you scuff them up like that. Even on carpets, on hardwood floors, they're totally fine. And some of these train stations here in New York City and Grand Central Station, sometimes these surfaces can get pretty slick. I don't know what it is, but even on some of the sidewalks in Midtown Manhattan, I can find that as I'm walking, I can feel the shoe kind of slip around Around, and that has become really annoying to me because it's almost like I'm walking on a pair of ice skates very 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 annoying lately that's one of my biggest pet peeves with a shoe that has a leather outsole also these soles are the most delicate and they do wear out the fastest even you could see some people end up walking and then this part right here just wears all the way up to the top of the shoe you could actually destroy the shoe or destroy the welt in there and still have plenty of life left over here but because it gets so worn up here that's it, you're gonna have to get it resold. So that's pretty frustrating. A lot of things can happen to these soles just because they are so delicate. Another thing that I don't like is the rain. I don't like coddling a pair of shoes or babying a pair of shoes and making it so delicate. Oh no, it's raining, I can't wear my shoes. They're shoes, they're supposed to be worn outside. Come on, I don't really agree with that whole thing. But I do find that in the rain, yeah, you don't wanna wear super nice shoes at all in a downpour, that's what rain boots are for. However, let's say it's rain and then the rain stops well guess what the ground is still wet your leather sole is going to soak up a whole bunch of that moisture and it's going to wear out 10 times as fast i've gotten home after wearing a pair of leather sole dress shoes not in the rain when the ground is wet and i've seen crazy big indentations 
and it basically can destroy your soul, it can wear out your soul like 10 times as fast. I've seen crazy indentations from stepping on small rocks where because the leather gets so soft when it gets wet, it just gets so much more delicate. Pretty frustrating because wearing leather soles one time in the rain, you can destroy them and you need a new pair of, new pair of soles. Now we are going to talk about the day-night soled shoes. Now this is all the way at the other end of the spectrum. This is a very hardy outsole. These are my Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill boots. This is a great boot. I've had this particular one since 2016, so I've had it for seven years. Resold one time, rehealed twice. Overall, great shoe. The pros of the day night sold shoe is that it has very good shock absorption. I find that I don't get a lot of really bad heel strikes. It's not as jarring as I'm walking, and there's a lot of underfoot comfort as far as up here by the forefoot and overall it just has great shock absorption qualities it's also super durable lasts a super long time and it's great if the ground is wet or in super harsh inclement weather or harsh elements basically all the negatives that we were just talking about for the leather soles the ones on the allen image strands we we're just talking about they are all direct positive they're all at the other end of the spectrum this thing in the water it doesn't care in the snow it doesn't care in the rain it doesn't care you walk through a bunch of water and stuff that's all over the sidewalk in new york city because that's how it is here in the city this soul does not care this is a very hardy soul it doesn't care i wouldn't say go running in snow because there's not a whole lot of grip but as far as durability this you can't get any better than the day night rubber outsole Speaking of the durability of this, on the original day-night outsoles on this boot, I wore them for four years, and when I say I wore them, I wore them. I walked five miles, one time 10 miles, before they actually started to get really, really, these little circles got really low. You could see right now they still stick up a bit. These circles were pretty much almost gone, and at that point I had to go get them resold. That was four years of wearing them almost daily in the fall and winter, and even a bit in the spring. These boots run a bit hot, so I really don't wear them in the summertime anyway. That is just a testament to how durable and how long-lasting the day-night rubber outsole is. Okay, cons. They are not as flexible as a leather sole. This is something that for comfort wise, even though they're super durable and they wear like iron, I would still prefer a good leather sole to the day night rubber sole just because I just like having that sole that really forms to my foot and really feels like a glove when you put it on. Like it's, it's yours, it, your foot imprints it a lot more. This one does as well. I would say that for a dress shoe like this, a non-boot shoe, a regular dress shoe like this, I'd want to go with a leather sole or a couple of other options that we're going to talk about here. But for a boot, hands down, I'm going with the I'm going with the day-night rubber outsole, just because a boot is a lot more structured and it can hold it. And since these are also not flexible and they're also pretty heavy, they do add a lot of weight to the shoe. Now, I actually bought a pair of Allen Edmonds McAllister wingtips with the Dayknight rubber outsole and these were okay but as you can see they just they bend weird they're not very flexible overall although i do like the durability of the Dayknight rubber outsole on the dress shoe i always would prefer just the leather outsole on the dress shoe itself just because it just seems like it it just feels better when you're talking about a dress shoe you want to go day night gotta go boots you want to go dress shoe stick skip the day night there are other options if you want that durability talk about that later in this video but overall that's a day night rubber outsole great hardy comfortable outsole just can be a bit heavy and sometimes doesn't really have as much support and doesn't really mold to your foot as much as the leather outsoles do so the next option is a little bit of a different option but that is going to be the double leather sole that is found on the Allen Edmonds Dalton wingtip dress boot. You can see if you compare, look at how much, even just from this angle, you could see there is quite a bit more leather right here. So this is a little bit more of a hardier leather sole with more material on the bottom. So hands down, this is the most comfortable option as far as leather soles night rubber soles, single soles, the double sole, it just feels like it has just the right amount of cushion. It's almost like it has the cushion of a day night rubber outsole, but it molds to your foot just as good, if not better, than the actual leather outsole, the single leather outsole. Maybe it's just because there's more material and maybe just that little bit of extra give. And then once your foot just molds into it, super, super, super comfortable. For Allen Edmonds dress shoes and dress boots and casual boots, the double leather outsole 
is the most comfortable option in my opinion. I've walked forever in these and these are absolutely great. Comfort is amazing. They do last twice as long at least than the single leather outsoles. Obviously because it's a double sole, it would last double the amount. That's pretty simple math. Allen Edmonds also uses some sort of oil. They call them the butyl sole. I think they use some sort of oil in there. Resists water a bit more. I would not go walk around with these in the rain. However, if the ground gets a bit wet and you gotta walk from the train, you gotta walk from the bus, you gotta walk from your office to the car, these are going to stand up a little bit better than the single leather sole on something like the Allen Edmonds Strand. You could even see a difference in one is a much darker color because that must be the oil and one's a much lighter color once you start to scrape the leather away when you're walking around. If you're gonna walk five miles and the ground's wet, you're probably gonna ruin these, but these are gonna hold up maybe in a couple more minutes, maybe up to a half an hour before you really start to damage that outsole once you're walking around in puddles and if the ground is super wet. So it is nice that you do have a little bit more durability as far as leather sole goes. Again, moisture is still going to be like kryptonite to that leather sole, so it'd still be cautious, but it is something that's nice that they put that on the leather sole of the boot, the butyl sole that is. These are also a little bit stickier, so they don't slip around pretty much on any surfaces. You could still make them slip if you really want to, but with that oil infused butyl sole or whatever they put in here, it must be something where it gives a little bit more of that grip. Still can't ride a bicycle on these. That would be great if you could, you gotta stick with day night or other st stuff like that. Most people aren't gonna be wanting to ride bicycles and leather stress shoes anyway. These definitely, the comfort and durability are there from the double sole. The cons, like I said, still a leather sole. It is going to be more durable than a single leather sole in the rain. However, you still wanna be careful. I still wouldn't wear these in the rain as much. Don't just throw them on your feet when it's raining and not think about it. You still gotta be cautious and make sure if you're in a downpour, that you don't walk forever in the double soled shoes, even though they're butyl infused. So for me, I like wearing leather outsoled shoes a lot, actually. I really like the look of them. I like the feel of them. What I don't like is that if they get wet because they step in a puddle, they're gonna wear out super fast. So there are a couple of options. So the first option is go with the double sole that's oil infused with that butyl or whatever they call them. However, these only come on the wingtip boots. They don't come on any of the low top dress shoes. They come on just a couple, but they're not a real option. You have to get a shoe custom made. It's just, who wants to do that? Most people, I know I do, just want to order a pair of shoes that fit you, put them on and keep walking. You don't want to make all sorts of these customizations and it's just a little bit too much work. Another option that you can do is invest in a pair of galoshes, I think they're called. They're basically rubber overshoes. Now they totally protect it. They're just like putting rubber over it. And what you gotta do is throw that on top of your shoe. Now the shoes pretty much has a whole rubber overshoe on it. It's going to be protected on the top a little bit as well up to here. If you do wanna wear the leather outsoled shoes, in the rain and not worry about it, I would recommend putting these in your bag. The Swims ones do come in a little carrying case like this. They do pack down pretty easily, but at the end of the day, it's still something else you gotta carry, right? I mean, it still can be a pain. Even though these are, you can pretty much just flatten these like this and it's not a big deal. There's gotta be another option, right? Well, there are a couple of other options. The first option is, this is basically an Allen Edmonds McAllister. Same shoe as the Strand, they're, they're on the same last. I went ahead and I went online and took, I just grabbed a, a silver adhesive sole protector and I just went ahead and cut around, tried to make it as clean as possible. Now, these, I can walk through a puddle, I can walk in the rain. I wouldn't take these out in the downpour because they're a nicer shoe anyway. Basically, I get the comfort of the leather sole I get that flexibility, all the things that I like about the leather sole, but I don't have to worry about it not being slippery and not being durable in the rain because I got a piece of rubber slapped on top of it. Now, the one thing I would say is it is a little bit more work to do this, and I think it's on this one. I think it's on this one, on the right shoe. Now, I did wear these because these are self-adhesive. This did start to shift over to one way, which I kind of expected, but could always take some crazy glue or some sort of shoe glue or rubber cement and then just kind of set them right there. That way it doesn't shift around over time. Not a big deal. It is something that I expected. However, this I think is a great option to do something like this because you don't have to worry about slipping. You don't have to worry about if the ground's wet. You also don't have to worry about putting something extra 
in your bag and carrying with you all the time and then pulling over you know sitting down somewhere throwing them on taking them off it's just more of a pain so these can give you that grip and that durability so my favorite options are the double sole the single sole I'm going to put sole protectors on these as well and then that day night sole is good for boots so that's going to wrap it up for this one i hope you enjoyed it hope you had fun and i hope you learned something if you like this video consider giving a like and consider clicking that subscribe button it helps me out as always, thank you so much to every single one of you watching. Hope you have a great day or night. It's like 7 o'clock at night right now. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully coming soon. Bye.